computers, we managed to, to get the connection going, and uh, we're ready to listen to you whenever you feel ready. And, uh, Fantastic. Okay, so. Okay. Okay, first of all, I'm sorry not to be there physically. I have some family issues and some yeah. bureaucratic issues. Uh, hope next time can see us there. It would have been much better to be there with you. Then, secondly, uh, excuse me, my English is quite good, but not perfect, like many, like Ali or other people, so I, I will do what I can. And then, uh, well, I will explain a little bit. Uh, about what we have been doing here. Uh, we will share this presentation together with Ale. Uh, and I will explain a little bit what are the, the eco networks, what we call here eco charges in Catalan, eco redes, uh, which is eco networks, which is like uh, barter schemes with local currencies. And then a little bit about the CIC, the Catalan Integral Cooperative, and some of the projects that, that uh, are linked with the CIC. So, uh, uh, first, well, I, I'd like to make a short, quick introduction. Uh, well, first about myself, I, well, I'm a sociologist, uh, more exactly a hippiologist, as I like to say, because I've been specialized in circle, community, consensus, ecology, and all these things. I've been six years in South America, working with that. And then here, we came back to, to Europe. I came back to Europe in 2006. And then uh, I took part in the beginning of, of some of these projects. Uh, <clears throat> then there's another uh, two little ideas also that I would like to introduce before getting into the issue, which is uh, uh, in one side, the north and southern, let's say, uh, different approaches to social transformation, no? which I think is interesting uh, in this context that we are here in, in Denmark, well, that you are there, uh, because, uh, well, from my experience, I've been many times to do these kind of conferences in, in France, for instance. I have been invited many times by, by collectives, more radical or anarchist, sometimes movements, social movements. And when uh, we presented our proposals, uh, some of them raised their hands and said, man, but if we do that, we we're going to lose the grant that the town hall is giving us. No? So uh, at, the, at first, that was quite shocking. And then I began to understand what kind of different social uh, oppressions do we have in the northern countries and in the southern countries? No? In, in the south, let's say, it's more rude, more, let's say, masculine, more oppressive. In the north, it's a kind of oppression, I believe, that it, it comes by buying, you know, or by, by, by having a, a mother state that will do everything for you. So social movements, people don't really have to, 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 to to organize, to, to make social changes, because Mama State will, will do it for you. No? This is what I find in France sometimes, in, in northern countries, compared with the southern countries, let's say in South America or in Spain, in Catalonia. So this is, a, for me, an interesting theoretical also understanding you know, on, this, on these issues. You know, that that uh, in the southern countries, since we have a lack of a state, or it's a stupid state that we have, or without the welfare state, uh, and especially in Catalonia, uh, which is a, a nation uh, not only without the state, but with state against. You know, and this is not new, this comes from many centuries. So civil society in Catalonia, we have had to do what in other countries like France, the state does. You know, like you know, national, Ecole Nationale, everything, many things. In Catalonia, both... Don't give up. worry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give up. Going to make no, it at the yeah. end. <coughs> Don't worry. <coughs> Don't worry. <laughs> We're not in a hurry. <laughs> Don't you worry. Do you need a hotspot? Uh, I don't know. Uh, hotspot is like a connection to your phone or something. Yeah. yeah. I don't think that's going to be fast enough. Oh. 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 What? It is. <laughs> it is. Okay, <laughs> I'm not very good at this technological stuff. Would we you like to try it? We can Maybe try it. We can uh, use that hotspot. <laughs> uh, uh, volunteer or else to move uh, the mouse maybe on the other screen because that's maybe why we get uh, kicked out of the internet because we are 
not moving <laughs> enough. Mm, you should be moving the mouth all the all like, the time. <laughs> oh man, that's. I think so. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Uh, that's how you prevent people from just living with the uh, internet maybe. and taking all the bandwidth for others. Oh, here's, here's the case. Yeah, this, this one will work. Is it done? We normally don't My hotspot is on. I think you can see it. I'm not that. Okay. Um, it I might not work. That, so I think the hotspot will be. The hotspot, the hotspot is ready for you. It's ready. Oh, cool. Hotspot. Yeah, let's try yes. that. Do you want to run? Yeah, I think so. Try it. Um, <coughs> no, that's not. Yeah, down. So, yeah, yes. Next. Um, to the left. To the left, to the left. <laughs> Go on, more to the left. <laughs> left, left, left. left? Yeah, yeah, that one. Access. Yeah. Yes. Update. Now, yeah, Ali Akar. Oh, Ali Akar. Wait oh, a second. Okay. <laughs> 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 you. No, it's maybe on already. Uh, <laughs> okay. What's the odds for then? Iliaka. Two okay. down. Yeah. <coughs> Or yeah, I'm just making it easy now. The password it's squat. Okay, what's the squat? Password? Squat. How do you spell that? S Q S Q. You got me. Where you spelled it wrong? No, it didn't. <laughs> <coughs> no, it didn't. No, no, it didn't change yet. Can't can blame him for that. No, it's coming. It's coming now. Yeah, it's it's, it's changing the name now. Or the pass. Try again. Yep. Uh, I'll try again, yeah. No. no. Not correct. It's a bit oh, slow changing. On. Okay, let's try the old. Okay, are you ready? Try this one. Ready? Yeah. Okay. S H A G. Four hundred twenty. Dot, dot readings. Okay. Okay. Connected. Chan chan. Okay, this looks good. And we don't have the It's connected. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. we got plenty of chances on our side. Let's have a look. We need it at some point, but you can have the phone shot. <laughs> okay, yeah. Fine. We're back. We're back. Small Sorry. technical issues. Now it's uh, up and running, running again. So whatever you want to resume, uh, okay. we'll be here. Yeah. Okay, and continue. Okay, so I was saying that from a sociological perspective, no, and a revolutionary perspective, uh, we have to understand these well, two different approaches, no, of, of social uh, control, um, social dissidence control from northern countries, which is based in this more, uh, let's say, matriarchal oppression, no? where the um, mother state will do it for you, so don't organize, don't mobilize too much, and together with the wealthier uh, surrounding, no? which is, um, well, this is one thing. Then we had this little just introduction about 
Catalonia also, I think it's interesting, these nations without the state, like also Occitania, the Kurds, which are doing precisely Rojava revolution, as you might know, uh, very interesting as well, uh, or Bretons, or many, or the Indians in South America, no? many nations without the state or with state against, and that has helped us creating strong social uh, tissues, uh, which uh, help us doing the kind of projects that, that we will talk about. And then another uh, little introduction that I like to do is about the issue about the squatting, which is something that I support fully and I am uh, very admirer of uh, Christiania, precisely. Uh, always with bad uh, news about it that it will finish, uh, but still is there, it seems. So, <clears throat> and uh, it's one of the things that I'm very sad not to be able to, to have visited again. Uh, so I support a lot the squatting movement. Uh, I support all kinds of these kind of struggles. But from a also um, social transformation perspective uh, and strategy, uh, I believe that after many years, besides Christiania precisely and other big uh, things like in Barcelona we have Camas Deu or La Cave in the Pyrenees, in, in the Basque Pyrenees, uh, besides some little cases, most of them they have uh, strived to survive and they could not create too much uh, uh, alternatives sometimes. Uh, or, or they have, but they've been in a strong struggle just to survive. And also, there's, uh, well, this I believe that it leads us sometimes to a kind of understanding anarchism or social transformation, which, uh, if it goes alone, like sometimes when squatting comes together with uh, working cooperatives or with other things, then it can be fantastic. But when it comes alone, just squatting and then going to the containers of big supermarkets to get the food, or uh, everyone having a little work somehow in capitalism and then going to the sweat house and they have so individual uh, capitalist uh, ways of earning money then buying even the beer, industrial beer, whatever. So when it only stays like that for me is not a really, let's say, uh, interesting approach to, to, to revolution or to social transformation. Uh, which which they are and I support it and I think it's very it's fantastic but I think it's not not enough no and that sometimes it can even be a way also of social control from the state no? to, to have it there like in, in Copenhagen for instance in Christiania it's there or in other big squads uh, but sometimes uh, it can uh, it can be uh, it is not a real threat to capitalism or to state structures because it's very well uh, controlled, let's say, somehow. So, uh, so this, this leads us to, to what I can explain, also I'll try to make it quick, uh, which is what we have been trying to do since, uh, especially since 2009, uh, which is, well, we began with the eco-networks. So an eco-network, uh, basically, it is a, a barter scheme you know, with local currencies, like there are many in the world, different kind of local currencies, like the lead schemes, mainly in the in, in United Kingdom, in the States, mainly, which is like a lead system. I don't know if you, you know it, but well, mainly is that uh, local uh, barter economy systems where I give, I do an aula yoga and I earn 10, and the one who receives it goes down 10, and thus we create 10 new local currencies in the system. You know? So for me, this is a revolutionary approach to what is economy. That's why in faculties like the one you are there or mine, uh, they don't explain it because just understanding how to solve the Sudoku, no? what they explain in economy, which is neoliberal economy, and that's all. You know? Never a mention to 1936 uh, anarchism, for instance, or things like that. So, well, a lead system is a kind of barter schemes where you earn and you go down uh, depending on what you, you create, and then the the guarantee, the economic guarantee uh, of the system is not based in the gold, no? like it is not anymore in our economies, as, as you know, but it is not based in, 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 you know, in the dollar or whatever, or in the banking system, which is a lobby of private banks, no? uh, but it's based on the richness that each community can create. No? So well, these are the lead uh, systems, and then there's uh, the other systems, which is like in transition towns or in Chingauer in Germany and in many other schemes where you can buy with official currency, you can buy the local currency. When you put 10 euros and you receive 10 echoes or whatever, 
and with that you can do the transactions. So what we did with the Echo Networks is putting together these two schemes. Uh, and by doing so, we, we, we gain another thing that joined the system, which is the, the food cooperatives, no? which in Catalonia is very extended. The last years we had more than 100. And a food cooperative, as you might know, is people, families paying 30 euros and receiving a, a basket of, of, of vegetables each week. Um, so what we did is that putting together these two systems of barter uh, networks, uh, in one hand, if you are uh, an active uh, prosumer, as they say in Argentina, no? prosumer, those that produce and consume at the same time, uh, you can, like myself, for instance, you are part of the system and you do a yoga class or you do something and you earn some local currency and with that you can spend it. But if my mother, for instance, comes one day there and she doesn't want to be part of the system, but she wants to access to some good or service, she can do the change on 10 euros or 100 or 50 euros and, and have 50 uh, echoes. Uh, and with that, she can buy in the system without the need of being an activist and uh, being a radical.